<laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So uh, recently I've been obsessed with the idea of bilingualism, uh, with our ability to express ourselves in two completely different languages. I feel like sometimes we don't understand how lucky we are. Um, and um, I was lucky enough to uh, grow up learning both languages. Uh, but in uh, like recent years I've noticed that I kind of put my mother tongue on the side and um, English took center stage, so this is a love poem for, for Arabic, not English. Uh, it's called Mother Tongue. Here it goes. Hmm. Dear Mother Tongue, dear language of my ancestors and our holy book, I am sorry. I'm sorry my words have fled the soil and taken refuge in another land. I'm sorry. Other letters have settled onto my tongue and melted like sugar. I'm sorry I liked the taste of them so much. I crave the sweetness of a language that belongs to the bitter ones that have continuously killed the speakers of mine. لكني أعود إليك وقلبي يكاد يتفطر حنينا أعود والشوق فيني أبدي يفوق عد السنين أتوب أنا أتوب أتوب فكلمي أرهقه الهروب to love is to forgive Remember, mother tongue, and a mother always loves her children no matter how far away they stray and when I strayed I took the road less traveled by, and that led me down valleys, across mountains and rivers. I've known rivers, ancient, dusky rivers, and my soul, like Hughes's, has grown deep like the rivers. When I strayed, I sang the song of myself, and yet when somebody asks me who I am, I've learned from Dickinson how to say, I'm nobody, who are you? When I strayed, mother tongue, I learned so much about the seasons, enough to compare lovers to summer days. Thou art more lovely and more temperate. لكن الوطن يبقى الوطن والعرق يحن يا وطني لو حاولوا لن يسمتوا صوت الميم من شفتي لو حاولوا لن ينزع العين والقاف من حلقي لو حاولوا لن يأخذوا خاء تأرخ في حنجري لو حاولوا بل ليحاولوا سرقة الضاد من لغتي let them try, I dare them it would be easier to rip my heart off of my chest than for me to tear my mother tongue out of my mouth it clings to my throat as do all sweet things it is, it is a funny feeling to love a language, to love a genderless, intangible thing with your entire being as if it is the only kind of love that is made to last. Mother tongue, I love you in a way that completely redefines love. I love you beyond labels and boundaries. Ummi, huwiyati, mahshuqati, hiwayati, uhibbuki, bi'adadi hurufi qasidati wa riwayati, uhibbuki, ya mawtini, يا مسكني يا رايتي لغة الأم لغة أمي يا أم كل اللغات I have found me a father, mother tongue. He's the nice parent. This is the thing he means exactly when he means it. He's accessible, easy. English is the parent you ask first when you want to go out because you know he is going to say yes. He is gloriously uncomplicated. I can fathom my English, and so does the rest of the globe. English is everywhere, and perhaps that is why. I cannot tame my English. My verses are wild and unruly. They refuse to rhyme, and my stanzas reject the cage of the meter. They would rather soar across the page. English is the part of me that longs for freedom with the passion of the enslaved. ولكن عربيتي تشتهي نظم الحديث تشتهي قديم الشعر منه للحديث وأنا أهواها فصيحة لذيذة على لساني أهوى الضم والفتح والكسرة حين تسين كلامي there are two sides to the same coin mother tongue and I am but a penny a two cent a shilling a fifty filth caught up in the middle of a dispute 
And if you flip me and let me decide between my parental languages while I'm suspended in midair, I choose the side I land on. Do not make me choose between who I am and what I've become. But my prophet did say, Ummuk, thumma ummuk, thumma ummuk, thumma abuk. Thank you.